Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here for another Gunpla Review. In today's episode, we're covering the Infinite Justice... Infinite Justice? Yeah, Infinite Justice. From Gundam C Destiny. So this is the evolved form of the Justice Gundam, which I do not own, because between the Aegis, the Justice, the Infinite Justice, I do not really care for these suits. Personally, I'm not a huge fan. But there is aspects of them that I find really cool. But it's just, I cannot stand the pilot, and... I am not a huge fan of the freaking monitor, the antenna on his forehead. It just looks silly. I get its purpose within lore, and I get it. I get it. But it still looks kind of stupid to me. But like I said, there is really cool parts of this, which I really do enjoy. And so... I will explain all that in the review. I picked up this dude on Amazon many moons ago. So, as you know, so this will be a backlog kit. So, if you want one for yourself, check out there. I know for a fact, as of right now, at the time of recording, that Galactic Toys does not have the Infinite Justice high grade. So, maybe in a couple of weeks they will. Who knows? I have no idea what they get when they get, you know, restocks. So, let's get into the review. So, so minusing the lack of two beam sabers, which I do not have for it, and the sticker sheet, this is pretty much everything that came with box. All right, so the Gundam itself. I love the fact that it has blades to go right here, as you can clearly see the beam effect parts, which is, I think is kind of awesome in a way. Like when you coming in for a kick, no one expects you to like just shoot out a blade and you can cut them in half with it. That is a great idea. The backpack itself can be popped off and attack people, so. But the helmet. Oh my god, I, I can't stand this antenna right here. I hated it on the Aegis, I hated it on the Justice, I hated it on the Infinite Justice. It just looks stupid. I get it. It's a command antenna. It's supposed to in, have a higher intake of information, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I understand it. I just don't like it aesthetically. Like, if this was just like a normal, like, if I, this part wasn't here, I think I would like it a lot better. Yeah, see, it looks a lot better. But that being here just looks ridiculous. So, let's do the articulation, because, well, that's one of the most important parts. Actually, let's take off the backpack first. There you go. Also... Please note, this is a very interesting bag. Because it doesn't have the traditional backpack situation. It doesn't have the standard backpack holes. So it's more difficult to try to kit bash this dude. Unless you're just planning on using its tor his entire torso. Because, as you can clearly see, the backpack is unique. And yes, you can actually attach it via the hands if you want to have like someone else pilot it, which is pretty actually pretty neat. Well, at least not pilot it, just be carried by it. As a, okay, so let's focus on the important stuff. Articulation. Boop. Let's remove the hand. Good arm bend. Unfortunately, that's as far as the arm goes out. Great ab crunch. It turns about that far. So, if we, oh, there we go. 360. So, you do get 360 out of it. So, that's always good. Front skirt. I don't remember if I snipped this or you can do it separately. So, based on my vague memory, I don't believe you could do it separately. As you can see, the front skirt and the side skirt can go up. Let's do the splits real quick. Not bad on the splits. I don't know if this part is... Yep. So yeah, you can attach this to a uh, base, as you saw in the beginning of the episode. So you can use as an action base adapter. As you can see, the beam sabers go here. I do love how they're both beam sabers and kind of like beam, 
lances, so that's always cool. So, back to this. Oh, look at that gorgeous knee band. Give rotation on the knee. Some give on the foot, but not too much. You can rotate the foot entirely. You get good splits. Now, let's talk about the cool stuff. I love the fact that this is both a gun and a blade, so you got that. You can use this as a blade or a gun, I believe. We have the beam rifle. Uh, there is. I don't believe there is other hands. I believe there may be the dynamic hands, but again, this has been a while since I built this, so take this with a grain of salt. And put the blades and the legs back in. It goes, yeah, to down the foot a little. It goes from here to here. You plug that part in here. And that, this part in here, and boom. Leg blade. Again, kind of love that part. Let's get this plug. There you go. Okay, now we're going to do the backpack. Again, I do like the backpack. It's a very interesting idea for it to be both a weapon and a carry unit, basically. Pull that down. Ta -da. I love how the, it actually has a metal blade and beam weapons. I believe this is supposed to be a metal blade. I'm not entirely sure. As obviously it attaches to the backpack here and here. Like I said before, you actually have hand holding units here and here. So if you want like it to in an action pose holding onto this above. Yeah, there's a three millimeter hole right here. So you can put this on on like an action base. Actually I think I have the one that came I uh, used before, so let's find out. Yeah. Now you have it in a flying position. Wings go up. Wings are down. They close in. They open up. Nothing too fancy here. So, yeah. Not that bad. I actually enjoy the backpack. And, like I said, it's quite easy. Just... Ta-da. Looks like I just broke his neck. There we go. So let's wrap up this review. Okay, so the Infinite Justice is a good kit. It's solid. Nothing is coming off this thing. If you're going to use the leg blades, I do recommend an action base. Either an official one or the unofficial one like I have. Make sure you have the, of course, you need the base adapter attached to it, which comes with the kit, as far as I remember. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, aside from that, yeah. Again, this is just a personal grip. I'm not a fan of the Infinite Justice, the just the, the Infinite Justice, the Justice, nor the Aegis, personally. But I can see how its design is really cool, but I just can't get over how stupid that command antenna is. Like, there have been other Gundams that are supposed to be the quote-unquote commander of the battlefield, and none of them have such a ridiculous head. Except for maybe the Lip Lance Heaven. And I already dislike it. <laughs> but all the other Gundams I own, none of them have such a weirdly designed head. It's kind of off-putting in a way. But, again, that's just a personal gripe of mine. <laughs> And if you love the Aegis line, I would truly recommend this. It's a really cool kit with a lot of posability options. And I really do like the backpack. 
I do wish it was you, it was connected via the standard backpack ports because I would love to see this thing smashed together with other Gundams because it does look cool. And I do not mind the color scheme because, you know, it's a darker purple borderline pink color. And we all know pink is a color of destroyers. Galactus, Comrade of Zeo, Comrade of Decade, all wore pink armor. Again, destroyers. Pink is a badass color. Or magenta, if you want to be technical. But, yes. I would recommend this kit. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. Monday's episode will probably be... Monday or Sunday, depending when the model is finished. Will probably be on the Master Grade Providence Gundam. And I have no idea what I'm doing next week. <laughs> I have... Maybe a double O kit? Maybe. I don't know. Or an IBO kit I haven't reviewed. Again. Keyword. Yeah. But look forward to that. And I'll catch you guys next week. Well, yeah, technically. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to welcome every new subscriber to the channel. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the family. And thanks for supporting me. If you want to support me further, please use the links down below. Galactic Toys, again, is only good for 24 hours. And I believe Entertainment Earth is good for 48. And if you don't want to buy a toy, you can always buy my books and support me that way. I'll catch you guys later and have a good day.